Hello, it's me, Jack Heslin at J3D. Today I am at Access Independence with Charlie Conway. How are we doing? <laughs> uh, Access Independence is a nonprofit entity, and it's what's called the Center for Independent Living. And what that is is uh, you find them all around the country, but basically they're nonprofit organizations that assist people with disabilities, regardless of what that disability is. Hello, I see that. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> whether it's mental, intellectual, physical try to live as independently as possible. Now that term, live as independently as possible, is a little misleading because immediately we think of them living in their own apartment or home. And although that's part of it, it's not all of it. Um, if they need help with advocacy, if they need help uh, finding equipment uh, with benefits, maybe they need help writing a job resume or want to get back into the job market, we're here to help provide those services for them. And there's no charge to them for those services. So what we were looking at with the 3D printing was kind of twofold. Could we use it uh, to be able to, uh, it is a great cost, um, could we use it to be able to bring in revenue to help offset the costs that we have, since a lot of our funding comes from the feds and from the state, and those are always areas that are getting cut back. And additionally, what could we do with this technology to be able to improve the lives of the people that we help? Um, there are lots of what we would call assistive technology devices that we could print out to make things better for them. So we're really going to try to do that as well and combine those two things from hoping to bring in revenue and then being able to create uh, either things that currently exist or to come up with totally new ideas that we can help these people with. Okay, and what we're going to do here, back to me, thank you Charlie. Now, actually I have one question. Sure. When you and I first talked, you did, now my company J3D, we carry the MakerBot, we carry the Airwolf, we carry uh, the Mendelmax. Charlie uh, had actually done some research before we talked, and we're going to show the printers here in a second. We got them up and running today. Why, why this choice? Because you did your homework. We did do some homework, and actually I utilized my son. My son's an electrical engineer and had done some 3D printing himself, so he became a great resource for me as we did this. And as we went through and looked at everything, we kind of felt that the Airwolf really addressed a lot of the issues that some of the other companies hadn't yet, especially in the area of ABS. And since we want to be doing quite a bit with that because of its structural integrity and, and strongness, um, the Airwolf just had a totally enclosed platform. Um, they had come up with the new adhesive to be able to help things adhere to the bed better. And everything that I had read and everybody I had talked to just praised the printer left and right. Uh, the first one we bought, we actually sent to my son so that he could kind of run it through its paces. Uh, he was really impressed with it and blown away. We just purchased two more and we hope to purchase at least another two here shortly. Thank you, Devendra. That is interesting. So these just came a couple days ago. There's the Axiom Airwolf. And we have to get the other one going, but we got this one cranking here. And as you can see, it's making a bearing. And, uh, and okay, it's making a bearing. So these are very sturdy printers. Now, the thing I want to make clear to everyone, and, there's, uh, and they come with plenty of packing material over there, yeah. believe me. The thing I want to make clear to everyone, though, is J3 uh, printer neutral. You know, if Charlie came to me with a different set of needs, I might not have said, yeah, go with the Airwolf. I might have said, go with the MakerBot or go with the Mendelmax. I might have even said, as I say to some customers, you're not really ready for a 3D printer yet. Let me get you some 3D prints of your CAD files and help you figure out which is the right one. So at J3D, which is j3dservices.com on the web, the goal is to provide a broad range of 3D printing resources to help a customer make the best choice for their 3D printing needs, for their dollar. So anyway, I am Jack Heslin. Uh, you know what I didn't say at the beginning? I didn't say this is Thursday, March 30th, I 31st. believe. 31st, excuse me. <laughs> Thursday, March 31st. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and please follow us on Twitter, uh, join us, and please share this, because I'm sure there are other nonprofits that would like to help with their consumers, uh, and this could be a really great resource for them, and we'd be happy to talk them through all the possibilities. Have a great rest of your Thursday, everyone, and we will talk to you soon.